All right, last game, Shane here. Clemson going on the road to South Carolina. Clemson Tigers favored by 11 and a half points. The over-unders, 42 and a half total points. And they just announced this game is officially mm-hmm. a sellout, Shane. South Carolina 5-1 and one at home this season. Who do you like in the matchup? Oh, Mike, if there were ever a year, you know, out of all these games that we've gone through, there's not one on here that I hope there's a victory more than this one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I absolutely cannot stand Dabo. I can absolutely – I mean, if anybody's ever listened to this pod, you know, anytime I got a chance to take a jab at the Clemson Tigers, I'm doing it because <laughs> I'm just tired. They, they they put themselves up on the Mount Olympus as this – they're uh, the next Alabama. Guess what? You're not – you know, it worked. The gig's up. Clemson, you're going to start sucking. Get out of town while you can, Dabo, or you're not going to have a job here in three years. That's what I think happens. And it all starts by a loss from the Gamecocks, brother. And what did I tell you last week? What was the key for South Carolina to win that game? The crowd noise. Well, there ain't nothing louder than a sold-out stadium in a rivalry week. I'm telling you right now. They are going to be sans. They're already doing it right now. They're practicing. I bet that thing's on loop down there in Columbia because South Carolina is going to come out. They're going to play some Beamer ball, and they haven't been pretty, brother, okay? They're, but there's a lot of people talking about Beamer being the, the, the coach of the year. Why? Because he has found ways to win games he's not supposed to. This is a game they're not supposed to win. But I really do think this is the year. When you look at Winsipedia, you jump on there. This streak has never gone to seven games but once, and it ain't the 30s anymore, Mike. I think the streak ends <laughs> again this year. Give me the South Carolina Gamecocks with the upset, 28. Baby Clemson, 27. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, key matchup in this one, Shane. Clemson's defensive front, you know, all these uh, supposed studs they have. South Carolina's offensive line has been very inconsistent all season long, up and down. One week they show up, one week they don't. That has got to be key in this football game. But I love the fact it's it looks certainly to me like South Carolina's found their answer at quarterback with Jason Brown. He has been the answer, in my opinion, at, at under center that uh, South Carolina has been missing all season. We got this defense heating Mm -hmm. up. I mean, I know they gave up uh, an early 14 to Auburn, but after that, they shut that down real quick. The crowd, Mm -hmm. I love what you said there about these fans, Shane. They are willing this team to victory. And it just just feels like you're bought in and and they're – Everyone's buying into the Shane Beamer hype and what he's building there. The players are bought in. They're not, you know, how many times would a would a team give up down fourteen to zero against an Auburn Tigers? How many teams mm-hmm. would believe they could beat the Florida Gate? Hell, South Carolina rarely ever beats them Florida Gators. Yet right. they are getting it done one step at a time. I was hyping up Beamer today on Twitter, and and a Tennessee fan Shane. Anytime I mention Beamer, the Vols got to. <laughs> Get in on the. There's that famous photo where he's celebrating, and it's what is the score like 28 to three. But they've turned it around, Shane. If they get a win here, they're four and two, and and I think that's that's the point for Beamer being mm-hmm. coach of the year because it's the lowest of the lows. How many times we just saw Florida Gators run off a coach because because they couldn't get it back. We just we seen LSU run off a coach because it started to crumble. They couldn't get it back. Instead of crumbling, which would have been so easy for the Gamecocks to do, they turned that thing around and they went the opposite direction. So uh, they are riding a wave of momentum. We've been saying all season, this Clemson quarterback, DJ, whatchamacallit, uh, he he is overrated as hell. We've seen him get exposed against Georgia. Now that he's having a little bit of success against ACC, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. Well, (laughs) I ain't buying it, brother. I'm right there with you. Honda Morristown upset special of rivalry weekend. South Carolina 21, Clemson 20. If the Gamecocks win Mm. this one, Shane, I think it's got to be a low-scoring affair. You may have to get a a defensive touchdown, but uh, I got the faith in this home crowd to will this team to victory. And uh, I hope they storm the field. I hope they tear down the goalposts. And I hope they they, uh, send Dabo home crying. They deserve it, man. They deserve it. They should put up a – a damn 
fund me page for was it 250 doesn't matter it's <laughs> worth it if part of the, if part of that you know what i'm saying if i could get yeah. part of them uprights in my living room i'm a taking it because <laughs> they deserve it through the last six years of of Dabo's bs i i'm i am over him man this this is the start baby this is the start and i can't wait to hear him squabble on the sideline about every little <laughs> thing that didn't go his way man 